Our guy had just left the newer shell. See, I stormed out of that guy's house. I had only lived there. Oh, yeah, I meant to tell you, I only lived in uh, his house for about two months because he told me there were no dogs there. I was going to move in with a plan on staying three or four years. But the noise was so unbearable with the dogs that I just packed up my stuff and slipped out at night and moved out. I didn't have to take any furniture because you know, it wasn't mine. It was a studio apartment. So without furniture, without hardly any furniture at all, I moved to Yonkers to an unfurnished apartment. And I literally had to sleep on the floor for about three weeks until my bed came. And that was all. I had just a bed and all my clothes and stuff and boxes. I felt like a, this is why I felt like an outcast. I had nothing, zero. Meanwhile, I was, I was frustrated as hell. I felt really dejected. Uh, I had no steady, you know, good job that I could depend on. No satisfa no job satisfaction. No social life satisfaction. The environment was terrible. There was nothing in the apartment, you know, nothing at all. Just my clothes, my guns, and my bed. And it was just all these circumstances, you know, combined into one. And uh, this is what happened. Because his dog uh, didn't bark just once in a while. It was, it was unbelievable. I, I don't think any human being could have taken it. And I can't see how other people in the building never seemed to pay any mind to it. That got to be one of the most annoying sounds, especially the way this dog barked. You know? Squeaky and loud and I don't know. Oh, it's stacking on my nerves. I tried writing nasty letters and things. This isn't an insanity at all. This is really just a, an immature way to deal with somebody's frustrations. Like a normal person may have gone to his door and shift, shift their fist right in front of his nose and says, now shut that hell up with that, you know, put that dog inside. But I couldn't approach him for some reason directly. So I had to do all these roundabout things, you know. That was one of the major motivations for these crimes too. You know, I have a series of factors because it made life so unbearable. And I couldn't get away from the dog. You know, they, why couldn't you move? No, you don't understand. I, this was my third move in two years. I was out of money.